In our darkest hour, these heroes shined their brightest. In the hours, days, and weeks after the attacks of September 11th, without thinking twice, they and thousands of other first responders went to the place where their lives would change forever. Ground Zero. Get in your Class B uniform, get your duffel bag, and be prepared to move out. Retired New Jersey State Police Lieutenant Jen Brincotti was stationed at Fort Dix and was part of a team of troopers who assisted at both Ground Zero and the Javits Center in the days after the attacks. It was the, the acrid smell of an electrical fire is what it reminded me of. Among those assisting at Ground Zero was his brother and fellow trooper, Peter. My brother was a terrific athlete. He was a, you know, a very disciplined individual. When he got sick, uh, he knew it was different. It wasn't his usual, you know, back pain. He said, this is different. When Peter went to the doctor, he found out his pain was multiple myeloma. Really, for a year, he, he suffered uh, terribly. Peter passed away on June 2nd, 2023. He was 66 years old. Today, Jim advocates for people like his brother and his partner and best friend, Jerry Barbado, who died just a few months prior to his brother, also from complications from his service at Ground Zero. Mostly for the people who sought treatment, received it, and those who haven't sought treatment even at this at this late date. We've seen the, the, the plume of smoke still coming up. We couldn't believe it. Jack Johnson is the chief of the Jersey City Fire Department, one of the first agencies outside New York to respond to the attacks. He said once his department returned to the station after assisting FDNY, he and several firefighters decided to get in their own cars and head back to help. We went through the pile for hours. And we were searching and digging and with all the New York firemen and we even know who was near us. It was all smoke and everything. One of his best friends with him at Ground Zero, Danny Martin, who's now retired, developed multiple forms of cancer. You know, God forbid uh, something happens to him, his family is left behind. So we're trying to see what, you know, what's out there for him. Many responders who went to Ground Zero on their own accord ended up retiring from illness and weren't eligible to receive a pension. A 2019 state law tried to help. I was talking to one client who was really sick and I said, listen, if I win and I get elected, I'm going to try to get this bill expanded. Under the current law, qualifying Ground Zero responders are eligible to receive an accidental disability retirement allowance, but must have filed a notice between 2019 when the law began and 2021. This bill would reopen the filing. The bill's author, Assemblywoman Jessica Ramirez, is pushing hard for it to pass this session. That's what we're working on. We're really hoping that it, it gets signed and, um, yeah, and we're hoping to save some lives. Jim, Jack, and retired Jersey City Police Officer Valerie Velasquez Stetz all developed health conditions of their own. We need this bill open for our families. We're all sick. We're all suffering. Many of the heroes whose health was affected that faithful day say even knowing all that they know now, they would still go back to ground zero to help simply because it's what they do. And believe me, if another 9-11 happened, the same people would show up. For Pix11 News, I'm Jim Vassell.